Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of Pain Drop with me, Artsy Hamsterino. Okay, now really fast I'm gonna show you how I made those hexagons, because as the video progresses you'll see that I really needed this shape. Basically, I used a piece of paper and draw onto it a hexagon, and then later on I applied it on top of a cardboard and cut it there so I can have a more stable shape. So how you probably guessed from the title and the thumbnail, the theme of this episode is bees! Yeah, get excited, you'll see lots of bees in this episode. And honeycombs, of course. So right now I'm just drawing the hexagons that should represent the honeycomb itself. And after I finish that, you'll see later that I start making the bees. Because I, at least I think that this way of drawing it would be easier, you know. Firstly, draw the honeycomb and then figure out where the bees should be. So, yeah, now that I talked about what I'm drawing, so you can know what, <laughs> what I'm really doing here, I can get into why I haven't posted for two weeks, like, what happened? Am I dead? Am I not? Well, obviously I'm not dead, but you guys deserve an explanation. So the reason why I haven't posted for two weeks is that I've been really busy with college work. I had lots of projects to get done. For example, I had at least yeah, I had two presentations to make in PowerPoint, which took way longer than it should have, but yeah, you can see where I'm coming from at least. And even this project, uh, the etching project, took so, so long. I mean, I think I spent like four days at college to in order to finish this, and uh, you'll see at the end of the episode when I actually showcase uh, what, how it turned out, the etching, um, you'll see that it, it's quite a lot of work that went into this. So anyway, please ignore my neighbor's TV in the background if you can hear it or anything. So anyway, now I you can see what I used in order to paint this. Uh, I used just water and ink, water in, in order to, you know, dilute the ink a bit because it's way too intense, this, uh, just pure as it is. And I also use my really cool brush set, actually it was really cheap, I, I think you can get a really cheap one from China or something, I just found it on a corner store. <laughs> And, of course, my trusty piece of paper in order to test the shades out. And yeah, that's basically all you need. <laughs> oh, another thing that I really wanted to talk about was, as you might have noticed, the majority of this video was filmed vertically, because the piece of paper that I had to draw on is an A4 instead of an A5, so twice the size. and. It looked really awkward when I tried to film it in my usual style. Oh, and yeah, of course you can hear my neighbors in the background because... Whoa, how how can we let actually Hamster, you know, record the video without us making noise? Who the do? <laughs> but yeah, joking aside, you can see that it was filmed vertically and I tried to edit it in order to make it look decent. I mean, I'm actually happy how this video looks, with all that blurriness in the background. I know, it gives it a really aesthetic look. So now you can see that I'm actually getting better and better at editing, so please fanbase, be proud of me! Oh, also, if you notice that my voice sounds kinda weird today, it's because, well, and now it's story time. Basically, last night I came home a bit tipsy. Well, not very tipsy, but tipsy enough for me to open the window a bit and then just go to sleep without closing it. 
and let's say that last night wasn't really the warmest night ever, it was actually pretty cold, and I actually can feel that I'm getting cold right now because of that. Yeah, I know, give this guy a medal, right? Yeah guys, so now I actually talked about all the major points that I wanted to talk about, so I guess I'm gonna leave you now to enjoy the process and the m music on the background. Oh, and also another thing that I wanted to say was if you enjoy or are interested in this technique that I use, uh, this engraving technique, I could make a more in-depth video because I had other uh, engraved plates, uh, copper plates, that actually turned out somehow better, I think, or at least look better. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you're interested into that kind of thing. I wanted to add a bit because I actually forgot to ask you guys to leave a like if you enjoyed this video or a dislike if you didn't and to leave a comment with your with your opinion on this piece. Also subscribe if you want to see more and you'll see some really interesting things in this next part in just a bit. Hello this is me but a couple of days later, if not weeks, yeah, it's been almost two weeks, but anyway, as you saw in the first part, or the previous part of the episode, this is the drawing that I made, but since then I had to study the bees some more, because as many of you might notice, they kind of looked like flies. So I made this, in which I made some cooler looking bees, especially those two ones. This one, eh, boy little thing, I know. Anyway, but uh, as I said probably previously, uh, this was a etching project, so in the meantime I'm gonna show you how the etching itself turned out. So this is the copper plate on which I made the bees and the honeycombs. I know you can you can't really see it because copper being copper, well it's not very clear with the light shining but anyway this is how it kinda looks you can kinda make out the details I only have three bees in this version but that's what my teacher suggested me and I have some some paper that I actually printed on with that uh, plate You can see this is how it turned out. And uh, this is without the honeycombs, only with the, the little bees. See? And it kind of works just like a printer, you know. I can make many, many of those. 
and uh, in different versions as well I have this more yellowy one if you're curious to see and I have a couple black ones again but with the honeycombs done I'm really happy how it turned out I mean you can really you can really make out the details mm, on the bees and the honeycombs are this really really rich black looks really cool and uh, as you scroll up the honeycombs become lighter and lighter in color yeah and again I have many versions of this one and by many I mean only three <laughs> three that are good and three that are not so good yeah not all turned out really that good and this is only gray <laughs> should have been black but anyway so this is what I've been doing for the past two weeks so sorry I'm gonna try from now on to keep a more stable schedule so yeah guys in the meantime take care draw really good as I know you can and see ya in the next one bye Ray Liotta. Private Select!